The three most famous dogs in the cinema. Although all dogs have their hidden talents, some are so talented they have walked down the red carpet and are on the cover of Hollywood blockbusters. Dogs are a favorite choice for movies. Not only are they cute and lovable, but they're also highly trainable, which means they don't need a million takes. They can learn tricks or the difference between looking happy or sad for the cameras, making them a believable character in any movie. Although dogs are used in a variety of TV and movie roles, it takes a special dog to make it onto the big screen as a star in their own movie. Here we look at the three most famous dogs in cinema. Number 3. Beethoven In third place is the lovable dog Beethoven, aka Chris the St. Bernard. The movie with the same name, Beethoven, is the most recent film in our list. The first movie was released in 1992 and with seven releases after the first. Chris was the most famous of all the dog actors to play Beethoven, being the only one to star in the first and second movie. He was 185 pounds of pure talent and became an icon of the movie dog. The first movie which saw Chris rise to fame shows baby Beethoven being stolen from a pet store. Beethoven manages to evade capture with the help of his little Jack Russell friend, and the St. Bernard goes on to meet his new family, the Newtons. From there, a star was born. Over the course of the first and second Beethoven classic, Chris became a household name under the film's title and captured the hearts of fans as well as those that worked with him. The title Beethoven came from the script itself. The family are trying to think of a suitable name for their new pup. One of the children plays a portion of famous composer Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, and the puppy barks along. And so, Beethoven was named. During the films, Chris was trained by talented Carl Lewis Miller, who had worked with many famous animals in such films as Babe and Cujo. Unfortunately, actors of the four-legged variety don't live as long as their human compadres, and Chris passed away shortly after the second movie. His trainer was worried that it would be difficult to find as talented a St. Bernard for the role in upcoming movies. His doubts were justified, as the film crew had to use several dogs to do the work of Chris in movies 3 through 8, because they couldn't find one that could do all the tricks that Chris could do alone. Chris captured the hearts of a nation in his role as Beethoven, and a poll in 2010 showed Beethoven as the number one loved movie dog. Chris lives on through his Beethoven movies. There are so many iconic moments throughout the movies, such as the moment that Beethoven meets Missy in the park and instantly falls in love. Number 2. Lassie In second place is this iconic household name, a story about a rough collie named Lassie. The movie Lassie Come Home was released in 1943, and the part of Lassie was played by a collie named Pal, who was born in California in 1940, destined to be a star. He was led to Rudd Weatherwax, a famous Hollywood animal trainer who put him forward for the role. Pal was one of 1,500 who were auditioned for the role of Lassie. However, the casting directors were originally looking for a female dog, so Pal wasn't considered for the main role. Even though he wasn't the desired gender, he was brought on as a stunt dog and later impressed the filmmakers so much that they used him instead of a prize-winning female rough collie they had previously decided on for the leading role. Pal was an instant success and was reportedly even paid more than his co-star, a young Elizabeth Taylor, in the first movie. Due to the popularity of Lassie Come Home, Pal enjoyed the success of a further six Lassie films, as well as two TV show pilots over the course of the 1940s and into early 1950s. Lassie is an iconic dog movie and paved the way for other dog actors. Scenes like the famous opening credit that show Lassie running through fields and jumping over fences will go down in history as one of the most emblematic of its time. Pal passed away at the grand old age of 18 in 1958. And although sad for his many fans across the globe, it's true he outlived his breed's expected lifespan of 14 to 16 years. In his long life, Pal also had some pups that went on to be big names in their own rights. His son, Lassie Jr., went on to play Lassie in the TV show after Pal's passing, and two of his grandsons even worked in a couple of shows. But none were up to Pal's standard and didn't become as well known as their famous predecessor. 
Pal had an incredible career and touched the hearts of millions in both his movie and TV roles. The Saturday Evening Post even described Pal as having the most spectacular canine career in film history in 1992. Number 1. Rin Tin Tin At the top of our chart is undisputed canine movie king Rin Tin Tin. The real-life story of how German Shepherd Rin Tin Tin became a Hollywood star is almost as action-packed as the fictional tales he played on screen. On the 15th September 1918, during World War I, U.S. Army Corporal Lee Duncan had been tasked with the job of inspecting a German encampment in eastern France to find out if it would make a suitable airfield. The camp had been bombed to the ground and he didn't expect to find anything but rubble. However, to Duncan's surprise, a kennel was still standing. The dogs inside had been killed by artillery fire, all but one mother and five pups still blind and bald from just being born. As an animal lover, Duncan couldn't bear to leave the pups to their certain death, and so he rescued all six dogs and quickly escorted them back to the barracks and later back to his home in California. He decided to keep two pups himself, one male and one female and give the rest to good homes. Unfortunately, the female pup, Nanette, didn't make it on the journey home, and so he was left with Rin Tin Tin, or Rinty as he affectionately named him. Due to his service, Duncan was left with bad spasms and so was unable to continue in the army. Back at home, he put his time into training Rinty. Unsure of what to do with himself after his service ended, and sure that the German shepherd he was training was showing true signs of genius, Duncan decided that Rin Tin Tin was destined to be a star. Rin Tin Tin's debut came in the form of the 1922 film The Man from Hell's River, where he played the small role of a sled team dog. From there, Duncan decided to write a screenplay that starred his beloved Rinty and went knocking on the doors of Hollywood to see if he could get someone to buy it. Through sheer luck and determination, it got Duncan and Rinty in with Warner Brothers one of the biggest companies in Hollywood, and they released their first silent movie together, Where the North Begins, in 1923. It was an instant hit and catapulted Rinty into the spotlight. People fell in love with Rin Tin Tin all over the world, and he quickly became a celebrity. His expressive face and quick learning made him lovable, and he was a pleasure for filmmakers to work with. He would do his own stunts, from climbing trees and crashing through windows, don't worry, the windows were made of sugar, so there was no risk of injury to Rin Tin Tin. It's speculated that Rinty was a bit of a prima donna behind the scenes, and there are all sorts of crazy stories that were released about the powerful pooch. He was described as temperamental, and was rumored to eat steak out of a silver bowl and drink milk from a champagne glass. They are ridiculous claims, but give you an idea of the hysteria there was for Rin Tin Tin at the time, who was paid up to eight times his human co-stars. Rin Tin Tin passed away in 1932, not before having some pups to carry on the family name, but it wasn't meant to be. Rin Tin Tin Jr. did go on to have a brief Hollywood career, but he wasn't as easy to train or as accustomed to acting as his father. Rinty was buried in the first ever pet cemetery on the Seine River in Paris. His grave still gets visited today by tourists and pet lovers alike who go to pay tribute to the greatest Hollywood dog star that ever lived. Hollywood wouldn't be the same without these three famous movie mutts. Because of their talent, and of course dedicated trainers, all three shot to stardom over their short lives and achieved more than was ever expected of them. What's your favorite?